These days, when cameras are everywhere, from our phones to security cams in public spaces, it's easy to forget that the major part of history has passed without them. Only in 1888, when Kodak released the first commercial camera, did they slowly begin permeating our lives. But long before thousands of snaps on our camera rolls, photographs were reserved for capturing precious and one-of-a-kind moments. These incredible visual monuments of history have resurfaced and brought a whole new meaning to events and lives of people in the past. 100,000 Iranian Women March Against the Hijab Law, Tehran 1979 Meet the Night Witches, Fearless Russian Female Pilots Who Bombed Nazis, by Night, 1941. A Native American Mother and Her Child, 1900s. In 1941, the photo on the left was taken of Soviet soldier Eugen Stepanovich Kobitev on the day he left to go to war. The photo on the right was taken in 1945 after the end of the war, just four years apart. Keisha Thomas protects an alleged KKK supporter from a mob in Ann Arbor, Michigan, 1996. A Red Cross nurse writing down last words of mortally wounded soldier, taken around 1917. Sir David Attenborough as a young man, late 1950s. Annette Kellerman promotes women's right to wear a fitted one-piece bathing. She was arrested for indecency, 1907. British soldiers interrupted during drag show rehearsals by a German raid, manning a BL-6-inch MKVIA naval gun at Schoenmitt Fort, England in 1940. Grand Central Terminal, NYC, the sun can't shine through like that now due to the surrounding tall buildings. 1929 Coal miners, coming up a coal mine elevator after a day of work in 1920s, Belgium. Today in 1945, the Auschwitz death camp was discovered and liberated by the Red Army. A boy's reaction, staring at a TV screen, for the first time, 1948. American troops treat a wounded dog on Oro Peninsula. W. Eugene Smith. 1944. Female snipers of the 3rd Shock Army, 1st Belarusian Front, 775 confirmed kills, Germany, May 1945. Lockheed Martin employee Sally Wadsworth working on the fuselage of AP-38 Lightning in California in 1944. JFK and Bill Clinton greeting at the White House in 1963. Arakura Warrior, Bears Belly, North Dakota, USA photo by Edward Curtis, 1909. An undercover police officer on duty. New York, Brooklyn, July 1, 1969. San Francisco's iconic Cliff House, shortly before it was destroyed by fire in 1907.
geologist Thomas Griffith Taylor and meteorologist Charles Wright in the entrance of an ice grotto. Terra Nova Expedition, Ross Island, January 5, 1911. Photo taken by Herbert Ponting. Visiting quarantined family and friends at Olival Hospital, Oslo Photo by Anders Speer Wills, 1905. A U.S. Marine rescues two Vietnamese children during a gun battle at the city of Hue during the Tet Offensive of the Vietnam War, 1968. A woman overlooking a snowy mountain pass in the Pyrenees Mountains, France, 1956. Homecoming, a British soldier with his eight-month-old daughter as he arrives at the docks from overseas, 1945. A German World War II prisoner is released by the Soviet Union and reunited with his 12-year-old daughter, who has not seen him since infancy. 1956 Mother and baby of family of nine living in field on U.S. Route 70 near the Tennessee River, March 1936 Sechueo, King of the Zulu who defeated the British at the Battle of Isandlwana, 1878. Shepherds Listening to Music Records, Azerbaijan, 1939. The world's last commercial ocean-going sailing ship, the Pamir, rounding Cape Horn, 1949. Navajo Riders in the Canyon de Che, Arizona. 1904, photo taken by Edward Curtis. A Native American man looking over the newly completed Transcontinental Railroad in Nevada, 1869. One of the many selfies that Emperor Nicholas II took throughout his life, 1868-1918. Frozen Niagara Falls, 1911 All of them pick shrimp at the Peerless Oyster Company. Photo was taken while bosses were at dinner as they refused to permit the children to be in photos. Out of 60 workers, 15 were apparently under 12 years old. Bay St. Louis, Miss, March 1911.